Hi guys, Mike here. In this episode, we are having a look at the UMG user widget class and cover how to create a C++ base class and how to define widget bindings. I'm also going to show how to reparent the C++ class to an existing blueprint widget class and explain why we are using reparenting and not create a blueprint widget class from our C++ class. So let's get started. So in our editor, I created a UMG folder and before we dig into C++ and see how things work there, let's have a look how we create a Blueprint widget class. So usually you go right click user interface widget blueprint. Let's call it BP underscore text widget. It's going to be a simple widget which only has like a text block. So let's take a text in here that text block, anchor it to the middle, maybe make it like 60 big, size to content, and drag it somewhere here. So as you can see, the parent class is user widget. And what we can do is have our elements be variables. And this is important for widget binding that I'm going to show you in a couple of seconds. So let's give this a name and call it text label, for example. This is going to be a simple text string that we can set in our blueprints later on. So now we declared the variable. And in our graph, you can see here under variables, we have a text label. So this is a simple blueprint widget that you might be familiar with. And let's have a look how we can do this in C++ or rather create a parent C++ class that can access these widgets, these variables from C++. So let's continue by creating our class. So right click new C++ class and the user widget is not in this list here. So we need to click show all classes and start typing user widget. And you can see object visual widget user widget. This is the class that we want for our custom C++ user widget classes. So click next and let's call it text widget. Create class and wait until it's added to the project and compiled. The class compiled and it was added to our project. So the next step would be to create a widget binding to our text block that we created in that blueprint widget. The goal is to use that blueprint widget and make it accessible from our C++ class. So to access these elements in that blueprint widget, we need widget binding. And by doing this, we create a U property with a specific meta tag. So let's create a protected section, create a U property, make it blueprint read write. And now comes the meta tag and it is called bind widget. Then we forward declare our U text block. So in this specific case, it's called U text block. There are several classes in a kind of components library that we can use like image, like a button and so on. So for this case, we're just using a text block and forward declined here. And the next thing, it needs to be the same name as you specified it in blueprints. So let's go back a second and see how we called it. And we called it text label. So we need to specify it with the same name. For now, this is everything we need to do. Let's compile and go back to the editor once it's done. So back in the editor, I will kind of show you what I mentioned in the introduction, why we need to reparent the class instead of creating a blueprint from it. So what do I mean by this? If you look at our blueprint widget, you can see we have a designer and a craft button and can switch between those layouts. Now, if we are creating our 
C++ class first, or if you would do that first. And then let's say right click on it and create a blueprint based on that, like the normal way of working that you would if you're using other classes like an actor, you create your actor as a C++ class first, then you create a blueprint on top of it. But with user widgets, this works differently. I don't know if it's a bug in Unreal or I don't know what the purpose behind this is, but if we are creating a blueprint class from that C++ class, you can see the craft section and the designer section like you would see in this one is gone. So there's no chance to get this back here that we can use this really like this. So what we would need to do instead of creating a widget from our C++ class, let's delete this. We take our original blueprint text widget. Let's switch to the craft as you can see we have our variable here and we would use reparenting. So we click on a reparent blueprint and select our text widget. And you can see in a second that with the variable text label this will disappear in a second when we reparent because we bound that widget in our C++ class and that means it's not available in here anymore or to see. And this is a good indication you can see that your reparenting and your widget binding works. So let's click on text widget. You can see the variable is gone. It compiles, there are no errors. So our widget binding and reparenting has worked. To kind of like test this out, what I mean, let's go back to our C++ code and just change the name, add text labels, for, ex for example. Let's compile and then go back to our editor and see what happens in our blueprint. So in our blueprint, you can see we have compile issues. And if we click on compile, it says a required widget binding text labels of type text was not found because our variable is called text label and not text labels. So the name really has to be the same. And if we are going back and removing the S and compiling again, then if we go back and compile, everything works perfectly and now we are able to use this widget. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I try to explain everything to the best of my ability, but if I didn't or things weren't clear, feel free to ask and I will gladly answer any questions you might have. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a like and sub if you did. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.